All right, this is exercise 25.6. So they give, they say you wanna make three wires, gold, copper, aluminum. They give you the resistivities, that is the lowercase p. They tell you the diameter is two millimeters and they all have a resistance of five. They wanna find the length of all three wires and then the mass of the gold wire and the value of that wire using its mass. I already have it actually written out, so I'm just gonna describe it. So for A, C, and D is length. So we're doing the exact same thing for all of them using this equation. The resistance equals the resistivity times the length over the area. The area in this case is the cross-sectional area of a wire. So that is going to be a circle because when you cut a wire just in half, you see a circle. So pi r squared. They give you that the diameter is 2 millimeters, so the radius is 1 millimeter or 10 to the negative 3 meters, which is what you're going to see right here. So this is just this equation filled in. They give you the resistance 5. They give you the resistivity per materials. So that's going to be the only thing that's changing between steps A, B, C, and D, or A, B, and C. For gold, it's 2.44 times 10 to the eighth. Length is what you're finding, and area is this equation right here, pi r squared. Go ahead and solve for L, and that's what you get for A. For B, we're using the exact same equation. equation. I went ahead and rearranged it so that it's equal to L, so it's easy. So we have the resistance times the area, pi, this is R squared, 10 to the negative third squared is 10 to the negative sixth over the resistivity. So this is the next resistivity. You solve for L, C, you're doing the exact same thing, pi R squared over um, the resistivity, little lowercase p, solve for L. And part D, D, it wants to find the mass. So you know the length from part A of the gold. It gives you the density, 1.93 times 10 to the fourth, and you should know this equation, very basic, density equals mass over volume. Volume of a wire is basically volume of a cylinder. So you're gonna have the area that, basically that cross-sectional area, just the area of a circle times the length. Now we have the length, we have the radius, so this is not a question. Nothing's a question here, you just plug it in. Mass equals density times volume. Here's the density, 1.93 times 10 to the fourth, times this volume, which this is the radius, 10 times negative 3 meters, times the length, and you can get 39 kilograms. Very easy. And then part E wants to know its worth. You have this 39 kilograms, and it gives you that it is $4 per gram, so you got to convert it. 1,000 grams over 1 gram, kilograms will cancel out, grams will cancel out. You multiply these, and you'll get 1.5 times 6 times 10 to the sixth dollars. So it is a very, very huge amount, which is why it's worth so much. And that is how you do this entire thing very fast.